And welcome back to KBOI 2 News. We have such a treat this morning. Eric Gruber, he's a chef at the Shore Lodge up in McCall. He joins us this morning. And all you need to know is he is fantastic. 20 years experience. And uh, you bring that all to McCall. All right. If we do our best. So tell us here. We have... I mean, it's tis the season for gingerbread and cookies and all of this good old stuff. And tell us a little bit about what we have here. Well, we've got gingerbread house and we've got uh, gingerbread cookies and um, just some, some basic Christmas cookies. But every year we try to put together a pretty big display at gingerbread house. McCall is, reminds me of the North Pole. That's why I moved there. Um, so we usually start in October. Uh, cutting gingerbread, making the house, put it together. It takes us about six weeks, about 40 hours into it. And uh, the key is the royal icing, which is going to be the white along here. You think of it as edible glue <laughs> and uh, fixes all your mistakes. Well, now, you this go. is amazing. The roof is made out of mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats, so you get the little snow on there. In the sides of the homes? Uh, we did the gingerbread is underneath, and then we found, we usually go to the store and just find exciting, fun candy. We did these pretzel sticks because they look kind of like shingles or log cabin. Uh, we melt down some hard candy. That's how we do the windows, and we shape those. Um, and you just go to the store, and you find what's fun, and uh, you make gingerbread house. It's great to do with families. Now, the best part about this is I bet from what you can see at home, you can't even tell how amazing this is close up. It looks like little stained glass windows in here. But from what I understand, you guys actually do classes, or at least one class each year, to kind of talk about these cookies and to teach people how they can do them at home. Right, we're going to do a free uh, cookie decorating class this year. Um, it's on the 21st of December from 2 to 4 p.m. Call the Shore Lodge, make a reservation, bring your kids, and we're going to decorate cookies with, with kids and families. But I'm sure when people come to the Shore Lodge and they want to get the best of Chef Eric Gruber, it's not the gingerbread houses and the cookies that they're experiencing. So tell us a little bit about kind of where you work and um, what you do that makes it so amazing there at the Shore Lodge. Well, we have, uh, we have a couple restaurants. Uh, the Narrows is our fine dining restaurant, and that's kind of our signature restaurant for, uh, you know, we try to really focus on, on local Idaho food, local Idaho products. We buy as much as we can from within a couple hundred miles of McCall. Uh, we get beautiful produce out of Riggins in the summer and uh, a lot of lamb out of uh, Haley and uh, that's kind of our signature um, spot to eat. Right on the water, beautiful view year round. All right, back to the gingerbread houses though. <laughs> Everything on this platter is edible? It is. The trees? Everything's made out of candy, 100% edible. The only glue, like I said, the glue that we use is the royal icing, which is powdered sugar, egg white, cream and tartar, which is all completely edible. All right. and. Uh, Okay, we're going to take a look at the gingerbread men here, too. And I see uh, the, you have gingerbread men. Gingerbread ladies, men and, and children. babies. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family. It's a, it's, a, it's a family resort. Sticking with the theme. Well, there we go. And I know that um, coming up, we will have Chef Eric Gruber back in our next half hour. And the great part about that is you're going to be featuring something here. You're going to let them in on your secret that has been featured in the Rachel Ray magazine? Correct. We did a, uh, an article or we did a recipe for Every Day with Rachel Ray in November. And we're going to give some really good mashed potato secrets. Secrets from the industry. Mm. There you go. And this is a good place to be doing mashed potatoes. Absolutely. <laughs> so again, the free cookie class, that's December 21st from 2 until 4 p.m. You can learn how to make all these delicious cookies and maybe get some tips on these uh, gingerbread homes. Absolutely. All right. Well, there you go. Shore Lodge at McCall, the Narrows. You can actually experience um, Chef Eric's Gruber for yourself. And um, now let's head out to Adam Beerman, who has your weather forecast. Adam, and we have a real treat this morning. We have Eric Gruber, chef from the Shore Lodge up in McCall. Fine dining like the Narrows. He brings 20 years experience to our table here this morning. Well, today we're making uh, rosemary blue cheese mashed potatoes. A uh, couple key um, secrets to mashed potatoes. So the first one is always buy and cook with Idaho potatoes. <laughs> um, of course. Is secondly, there any other kind? There isn't as far as I'm concerned. Secondly, when you cook your potatoes, a lot of people cut them up. You don't want to cut them up. Think of potatoes as bread. If you overwork it or over mix it, your potatoes come out flat. But don't they cook faster if you they cut them do, up? They do, but you should never be in a hurry when you're cooking. <laughs> so basically, cold water, whole potatoes, take your time. Have a glass of wine while they're cooking. And how long should they cook for your typical It's potatoes? about an hour or so. And the yeah. more wine you drink, the better they taste. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you got bigger potatoes, they're obviously going to take more time. Um, food mill or a ricer is another, another uh, good component. You just take your potato. As soon as they're able to, to, to break apart with your tongs, you put your potato and uh, you just push it through. And that will keep your potatoes nice and, uh, and fluffy. Everybody likes fluffy potatoes. You have to work out before doing that. that uh... or, or it is a good workout while you're going. 
Now, one thing to mention really quick, these are the blue cheese, the rosemary blue cheese potatoes, and they were featured in the Rachel Ray magazine, is that correct? Correct. Every day with Rachel Ray, November issue, these were featured. Uh, they were looking for some, some exciting and new, new side dishes to go with Thanksgiving. So what we do, and another secret to these potatoes in particular, is we're doing rosemary blue cheese. Love the flavor of rosemary. I don't like the texture. It's like eating pine needles. It so looks like do, pine needles. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For somebody, you can tell how much I don't cook because I just thought that we were doing Christmas potatoes. You're doing pine needle potatoes. <laughs> so we wrap our, our uh, rosemary and cheesecloth, and then as soon as you put the potatoes in the water, which is cold water potatoes, you have this wrapped in. Just put it right in there with your potatoes, and then when you're done, the rosemary doesn't come into the water, it doesn't go into your potatoes, but you still get the flavor out of there. So you're kind of steeping it in there. So it soaks it up like a sponge. Correct, absolutely. So you get the rosemary flavor without the texture. Okay. Very so nice. we have our riced potatoes, and uh, we're gonna add our blue cheese to that. I love blue cheese. And another key is don't put this in your mixer. You gotta do it by hand. The hard way is always the right way. <laughs> so we have our blue cheese in there. We're gonna use sour cream. You could use cream and butter. You could use chicken stock. You could use almost anything. Um, and you fold it in. Can you over mix them at this Absolutely. point? Absolutely. This, this is, you wanna do it as little as possible. Think of it as kneading bread. You knead it to the point where it's ready to go in the oven. Uh, you over knead it, your bread doesn't rise. And then we season with white pepper, kosher salt, and that's as simple as it gets. So can we kind of tip that to show them what that's kind of looking this like? This should be the texture. See, and that'll hold for a good hour. You could do an hour before your dinner and just hold it in your, in your oven, warming temp at 140 degrees, and they won't flatten out. And that's it? That's it. So the blue cheese, I mean, what's that going to bring? I, I love blue cheese. I it's my favorite. And what, I mean, so this is going to be kind of just adding what to your normal mashed potatoes. Why are people going to say, ah? Well, if you like blue cheese, it, you know, it's an amazing flavor. We use, you know, local Northwest. This is a rogue smoky blue. The more quality cheese you use, the better it's going to be. If you don't like blue cheese and you like goat cheese or you like Romano cheese or you like Jack cheese, it doesn't matter. And this so was the anything. crumbled anything. blue cheese. This, this is, is a crumble. This is the creamy. Correct. Can right. it be done with the cream? Absolutely. Gorgonzola works great. That's, a, that's in more aged cheese. The more aged it gets, the softer the cheese gets. So you do a more aged cheese, it's going to come out a little creamier. So as you can see, even people like me who do not cook, my husband, he's at home going, oh, please, <laughs> give her something she can make. Because the long way is the hard way for her. Is the, right. doesn't always mean good. So basically, let's go ahead and say this is Eric Gruber. You Correct. work at the Shore Lodge up in McCall. So if you want to... Check these out and other of your fine dishes. And these are on the menu right you. now in Nero's, in Nero's restaurant. Well, there you go. And one more thing to mention, you guys are doing a cookie class, a gingerbread cookie class. We are. Gingerbread and, and uh, holiday cookies, uh, December 21st, 2 to 4 p.m. It is free. Please call and make reservations and uh, bring your kids, and we will uh, show them how to make gingerbread cookies. And we'll go ahead and try to have this on our website, and we'll also put that a link to uh, this recipe on our Twitter site this morning. So, again, thank you so much for Thanks being for here. Me. Appreciate we it. appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. It smells delicious. Thank you. And we will be right back.